And welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. This is a weighted lapgan and this can also be a weighted blanket if you wish. And this is called marling where you use two yarns at the same time. But what you can do with your Karen Cakes, your Bernat Pop, anything that is in self-striping in that kind of cake format, you can create really cool concepts like this. You will notice that the striping doesn't look the same. So I'll talk about how that's done and how you can get one of these too. And this is a fabulous stash buster and also a great charity project too. So what you're looking at is using it two yarns at one time. So when you go to start this pattern I'm going to be demonstrating just with one strand but when you go to do this concept you're gonna wanna use two strands. So you have to use two balls at the same time in order to get this concept. The secret is, is how it's wrapped. So when yarn is made in this particular format with the caking format that you see, you will notice that the centers are using never the same. So I know it's kinda hard to see here with the, the light. So in here it's green and here it, it's white. So my point being is that it's never really the same. So the secret to this is that one ball you're going to want to come from the outside of the ball and work your way in and then the other ball you'll go from the inside and work your way out. And where they cross over is where you get the solid bands that you see. So at some point here it happens. So you can't predict it. That's what makes this really ad addictive. So I could have had like two bands of this and but then I end up having a band of that and I found with myself where is it the, the, the line in the sand as far as being able to plan it. And the fun thing is is that you can't. So what you're seeing here is actually six balls of Karen Cakes and it's the red velvet and again one ball is from the outside the other one's from the inside. As you switch over to the next set of balls so once the one ball runs out you wanna get the next color pretty much close to where you left off. So even if you have to pick out some color just leave it off to the side. I used pretty much every yard into this except for the tails of course and that was really kind of fun. And uh, let's sh I show you the crochet diagram in order to do it. So just remember inside out, outside in in order to work with this yarn. So I made you a crochet diagram. You'll use a six and a half millimeter size K crochet hook today. And what this is is a multiples of 14 plus two. So if you wanna change the size of this and make it even bigger, right now you're looking at my lapgan. It is 34 inches wide by 47 inches long. So if you'd like to make it longer then of course or wider and longer you can do so. You'll just use up more yarn. So the longer that you have the wider it goes these bands will actually look completely different which is awesome. So you'll notice that we're going to start off and we're gonna just chain in sets of uh, 14 plus 2. If you want the exact blanket that you see here it's chaining of 100 only. Then we're going to single crochet across the main chain itself and then in row number two we begin and we start with the half shell and then you're skipping over three and then you're just s seven single crochets in a row skipping three and then seven double crochets into the fourth one skipping three seven in a row and this is a very very easy pattern to remember. When you get to the other side row number three you're going to just chain up one and you just single crochet all yourself all the way back. So only one row when you're looking at it from this perspective has the thinking of putting in the shell but the other row coming back is just single crochet. So I found myself it's very quick to process this uh, in your hands because the one row you really don't have to think and you can put your hook into the wind. So when you're finished the repeat, the repeat is ending on number four. So you go through one through four, one through four. It's basically a single crochet that you can see uh, going as row number one. So what's gonna happen is that when you're done with this one you're gonna wanna finish on number one just like you see here. So it's repeating of one through four. So I'm gonna play the original tutorial that is demonstrating this particular concept using the one strand. But of course if you want it marled use two and you can have this fabulous blanket too. One more moment before I let you go. So what's gonna happen here is that I just showed you two green balls with the same brand or the same colorway. You can actually use two different colorways as well and still create that look. Now if you're looking at your ball, see how you got a blue here and you got a blue here? Chances are it could cross over in that so you could get a solid line of a blue looking idea. You can really have a lot of fun with this with these particular colors. So you can actually mix and match and make your cake uh, uh, blanket really quite fun and fabulous. So just because that we're doing the marling doesn't mean you have to have the same colors for both balls. And you know what? It's a great stash buster because of that. So that's it. Okay so you're ready to go. So you're gonna need a five millimeter size H crochet hook in order to play today. You're going to need your Karen Cakes yarn if you wish to play with that yarn as well. You'll need four balls in order to do this particular pattern and we're gonna start off with a slip knot. So you can either match what the pattern says of 170 or you can just chain in multiples of 14. 
for myself I'm just gonna do multiples of 14 and when I'm satisfied I'll add two at the very end. So I just yarning over pulling through. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So there is one multiple of 14 right there. So you can decide for yourself is it big enough yes or no. If not do it again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So once you're satisfied with the length of it you just have to add two. So if you are doing 170 you can just do 170 but if you wanna do multiples that's exactly what you have to do. So in row number one we're gonna go second chain from the hook. So one and two count it back and just turn it over and get the back loop only of the chain and I want you to single crochet yourself all the way across the chain. So just going into the next one that's the back only and single crochet and the next one and etc. So go all the way across your chain with just single crochet. So I'm coming up to the other side of the chain and I'm going into my very last one with single crochet. So that was row number one and I'm gonna turn my work. So rows one and three are always just gonna be straight single crochet back and forth, uh, back across. So let's go for row number two. Row number two is a half shell to begin and then we're gonna start establishing the spacing and then another shell. So to do that we're gonna chain up three. So one, two, three and that counts as a, a double crochet and into the same one where you've done the join I want you to put in three more double crochets. So with the chaining of three and these three that counts as four double crochets in the end. So now I want you to skip three stitches. So one, two and three and now for the next seven stitches in a row single crochet. So let's count those out together. I just did one and two, three, four, five, six and seven. So once you have your seven done you're gonna skip the next three and then you're gonna put seven trebles or doubles into the next one after that. So and there's a fourth one away. So one, two, three and four, five, six and seven. So the repeat pattern all the way across is gonna be exactly the same. So you're gonna skip three and then the next seven will be seven uh, single crochets in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So then if you're continuing along then you'll skip three and then the next one after that is gonna be seven of these shells again. Skip another three and then another seven in a row. So once you come to the very end you'll find that you'll end up with four stitches left. So you're gonna skip the next three and into the final one you're only going to put in four doubles because it's a, it's a, it's a half. So just do four double crochets right into the very end. just like that. So you can see that the shells kind of just went in there. You still have your single crochets in the middle and etc. So let's begin row number three. So turning our work and going for row number three. So row number three just like one is what? It's just a single crochet. So chain up one and into the same one just do one single crochet and then you just keep adding a single crochet into each one as you go all the way across. So you don't technically need to count anything. Right, you just go one single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So please do that all the way for row number three. So I'm coming up to the end of row number three and I'm just single crocheting my way all the way back. Don't forget that turning chain that you started is also a stitch. So just single crochet there. So now we're gonna turn and work. So you can see that this makes this wave look more accented but it's actually just a single crochet sitting on top. So this time in row number four the shell is now gonna sit in the middle here. So it's gonna be shifting over and going into the middle. So you have one over here, here and etc. So all these shells will be in between the existing shells. So to begin the first section here we're going to chain up one and the first four in a row will all be one single crochet each. And now the fun it begins. It's just like before it's just been shifted. So the next three are empty. So one, two and three go to the fourth and you're gonna put in seven doubles into that one. So one, 
two, three, four, this is five, six, and seven. And then you skip the next three. So one, two, and three, and then start on the fourth, and go on and seven single crochets in a row. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you skip the next three. So one, two, three, go to the fourth, and then you put in seven doubles again. So all of these shells appear in, be in between the resting points of the shells that are in the rows below. And you wanna make sure you get seven in there. So if your counts are ever wrong, and I did this on the sample twos that one of these I did a six by accident. So you know, you could just gotta watch your counts a little bit. So skip the next three. So one, two, and three. And then the final four, once you get all the way back across, will be just one single crochet each. So you just have to make, maintain the pattern as you're going all the way across. And that's what it looks like so far. So let's turn our work and we're back to row number one. So row number one, one and three are the same. What are they? Single crochets, that's right. So just chain up one and one single crochet into each going all the way across. And I'll show you how to do number two again and make sure that you got yourself off to the right start. There is no border for this particular afghan. So it's really quite an easy uh, project once you understand how everything is working out. So I'll see you at the end of this and we'll repeat doing row number two just to make sure you got it. So I've come all the way to the other side and you're gonna see it over here. So you'll notice that this is the right side here and you can tell by the shells to always be on the same side that you'll see the other side looks slightly different. And so the right side to me looks more desirable. It's probably why it's called the right side too. So let's uh, repeat row number two. So row number two was down here. You have the half a shell that you see and how many single crochet rows are above. So one, two, and three. Remember what I said here is that there's always like three single crochet rows in between things. So the shell's now gonna appear here and so I can count it. So one, two, and three single crochets are here. So it's just a neat thing to look for if you, if you want to. So to start row number two again, it's just chaining a three counts as a double crochet and then the same one, you're going to put in three more double crochets. So you're gonna do a half a shell on the outside there. So how many are you gonna skip? You're gonna skip three. So one, two, and three and go to the fourth and you're gonna single crochet seven in a row. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then how many are you gonna skip? It's gonna be three. So one, two, and three and it's gonna be in the fourth. And if you follow it up, it looks like it's in the middle too. So that's a good indication that we're right. So there's gonna be seven double crochets in a row and the fourth one away. And then how many are you gonna skip? Three. So one, two, and three and then the next seven in a row are gonna be single crochets. Okay, and so you just continue that same idea going all the way across and then when you get to the edge, you're gonna skip four or skip uh, three. So one, two, and three and the final stitch is gonna be a half a shell. So there'll only be four doubles into that one there in order to bring it back in balance. Just like that. So it's a really neat pattern in order to play with. Let me just back up the camera a little bit and you can see that the shells really kind of produce a really neat idea and with your Karen Cake yarn that you're gonna be playing with, you can see that the colors would transition on its own and just like you see here and it's really quite awesome and it depends on the color that you wanna choose as well and the designers have purposely chosen the certain widths of 170 in order to get the colors to really line up properly. There is a method to the madness even though you may not think so. So it's a really quite an awesome idea in order for you to play with and I hope that you really enjoyed this pattern and on behalf of michaels.com as well as the crochet crowd have a great day good luck with this project and make sure you post your projects online we'd love to see we'll see you again we'll see you. bye bye